Hello today's video we have the following content. 37 year old Zhao Liying appeared in a white dress and reached a new level of beauty. Zhao Liying, 37 years old, in a white dress, outshined all the beauties. Preview of Zhao Liying's heart. Zhao Liying at the offline event in Beijing is breathtakingly beautiful. In a white dress, she is like a bright moon. The yellow knitted short sleeves are very beautiful. As expected, she is as gentle as Ying Yin water, and her reputation is well deserved. Zhao Liying's beauty has earned her the nicknames Zhao Wuxin and Zhao Manao. It has to be said that as time goes by, Zhao Liying's condition is getting better and better. With a casual shot, she can be beautiful even outside the circle. Sweet, soft, and there is a relaxed atmosphere. The Lobo hairstyle is gentle and romantic. The side bangs fall naturally, charming and moving, and paired with pink lip makeup, it is gentle and sweet. Extraordinary. In terms of accessories, just like her personality, she adheres to a low-key and restrained style, and the accessories are also small and exquisite. Small and exquisite crystal earrings and necklaces, with just a little embellishment, are enough to make people's eyes shine. Who stipulates that accessories must be exaggerated to attract attention? Taking care of herself like raising flowers, Zhao Liying grew up in extremely superior conditions. On the internet, several new dramas are about to be broadcast, and her performance in them is also very good. Zin's Hilly is Song Ki Ao Yams and she has not been broadcast yet, but it has become popular. Everyone is looking forward to it. Zhao Liying plays a deep-minded and weak-looking actress in the play. But she is hidden, looks gentle and quiet, but actually has a delicate mind. In TV dramas and movies, Zhao Liying constantly surpasses herself and constantly challenges herself. Not only has she starred in some fantasy idol dramas, but she has also tried to try other roles. Even if it is a supporting role, as long as she doesn't let her down, she is willing to try it. It can be said that this is a very outstanding actress. Next news. Zhao Liying joins the crew again, and the new drama will partner with Wang Xiaoming. Recently, the entertainment industry has heard a big news that Zhao Liying joins the crew again, and the new drama will partner with Wang Xiaoming. It is reported that the TV series City Builder is expected to start filming in late October, with Fuzhou as the filming location and a filming period of 155 days. The drama is directed by the great director Sun Hao, with a luxurious cast. The strong combination of Zhao Liying and Wang Xiaoming has made many fans full of expectations. Zhao Liying has always been a model worker in the entertainment industry, with continuous works. From traveling with the Phoenix to the suspense short drama in the world, and now to the upcoming city builder, she constantly challenges different types of roles, showing strong acting skills and professionalism. In 2024, Zhao Liying can be said to have won the game. From the road to fire to Qiao Yan's heart, and now to the highly anticipated city builder, she has become a new darling in the film and television industry step by step. Wang Xiaoming is also an actor with both strength and traffic, and his works cover a variety of themes. This collaboration with Zhao Liying is undoubtedly a wonderful collision of two big names. The story of City Builder is set in the early 1980s. In order to accelerate development, Pinghe County decided to set up Duangang Town. In the play, Zhao Liying and Wang Xiaoming will play cotters with outstanding abilities and personalities. Adhering to the concept of people's city built by the people, they will find ways to reform with the help of reform and opening up policies and the central document number one, and stage a real version of city building. The behind-the-scenes configuration of this drama is also quite luxurious. Director Sun Hao has directed the popular drama Celebrating Union and has collaborated with Zhao Liying for the second time. In addition, the screenwriter's representative works such as The Great River are all award-winning works. Although the art director's last work was Camp with Love, which caused some controversy, it also made the audience full of expectations for the makeup of City Builder. At present, more details about the drama have not been announced, but the cooperation between Zhao Liying and Wang Xiaoming alone has already whetted the appetite of the audience. I believe that with the wonderful performances of the two powerful actors, City Builders will definitely become a masterpiece that attracts much attention. Zhao Liying was born on October 16. 1987 in Langfang City, Hebei Province. In 2006, Zhao Liying stood out in the Yahoo Star Search event and signed a contract with Huanai Brothers Media Group to star in an advertisement directed by Feng Xia Gang, officially entering the entertainment industry. In the same year, she participated in works such as The King of Nanai in the Peony Pavilion. In 2011, she played Kinger in the costume drama New My Fair Princess and became well known to the audience. 
In 2013, she starred in the inspirational drama Legend of Luge and for Palace Career Women and received a lot of attention. In the same year, she won the Most Popular Actress Award in the mainland at the 5th National Drama Festival with the idol drama Sham Shang Comes and established the Shaolin Studio of Heron Media. In 2014, she was selected as the Golden Eagle Goddess. In 2015, the fairy tale drama The Journey of Flower was broadcast, and the drama became the phenomenal drama king in 2015. Zhao Liying also won the 28th China TV Golden Eagle Award for the Most Popular Actress, and was nominated for the 22nd Shanghai TV Festival Magnolia Award for Best Actress. In 2017, the costume drama Princess Agent starring her once again became a phenomenal film and television drama. In 2018, she played Sheng Minglin in the costume drama Do You Know It Should Be Green, Fat, Red and Thin, and won the 30th China TV Golden Eagle Award for the Most Popular Actress again. In 2022, the dramas Happiness to 10,000 Homes and Wind Blowing Half Summer starring her were broadcast. Both dramas have achieved good reputations. She was also nominated for the Best Actress Award at the 28th Shanghai TV Festival Magnolia Award for Wind Blowing Half Summer. In July of the same year, Zhao Liying was elected vice chairman of the Hebei Film and Television Association. In January 2023, Zha Liying participated in the 2023 CCTV Spring Festival Gala and performed Flowers Blooming in the Flower House. In the same year, she was elected as a member of the 7th Council of the China Television Artists Association. From Zha Liying's acting experience, it can be seen that she is not from a professional background, but with her own efforts and love for acting, she has gradually grown from small roles to a popular first-line actress. Her success is not accidental, but she has walked out step by step by constantly challenging herself and trying different types of roles. She has always adhered to her beliefs on the road of acting, not following the crowd, and proved her value with her strength. Whether it is a costume drama, a modern drama or a fairy drama, she can interpret the role vividly and leave a deep impression on the audience. Wang Ziyaming was born on November 13, 1977 in Qingdao, Shandong. In 1998, Wang Xiaoming starred in his first TV series Love is Not a Game and officially entered the film and television industry. The following year, he starred in his first movie Let's Get Married. In 2002, he played the young Emperor Wu of Han in the costume drama The Emperor of Han Dynasty, and his youthful and handsome image left a deep impression on the audience. In 2006, the martial arts drama The Return of the Condor Hero starring him was broadcast, which triggered a viewing boom. In 2007, he began to develop into a singer, released his first personal album It's Ming, and won the Mainland China Idol Singer Award, the Global Chinese Songs Chart All-Round Artist Award and other awards. In 2009, he was nominated for the Best Supporting Actor Award at the 28th China Film Golden Rooster Awards for his villain role in the spy film The Message. In 2010, he released his second album Mupa. In 2013, he won the Golden Rooster Award. Huibiao Award and Hundred Flowers Award for his role as Ching Duanqing in the movie Chinese Partners. He was also nominated for the audience favorite actor at the 27th China TV Golden Eagle Award for his role in The Legend of Yu Fei. His acting skills were recognized by the industry and the audience. In 2016, he won the Best Actor Award at the 13th China Chongqing Film Festival Golden Dare Award for the movie The Great Tang Zuan Zhang. In 2019, he starred in the movie The Heroes of Fire and won the Best Actor Award at the Golden Rooster Award and Hundred Flowers Award again. In 2024, Wang Ziyaming won the Best Actor Award at the 26th Shanghai International Film Festival Golden Goblet Award for his role as Wu Yu in Sunshine Club. Wang Ziyaming's acting achievements are fruitful. He has shown a variety of roles in film and television works, from emperors in costume dramas to entrepreneurs in modern dramas from heroes in martial arts dramas to villains in spy war films, and he can handle them with ease. He has not only made outstanding achievements in film and television, but also made achievements in the field of music. In addition, he has actively engaged in business and charity, showing his multifaceted talent and social responsibility. Zhao Liying and Wang Xiaoming are both highly regarded actors, and they have their own wonderful performances on the road of acting. This time, the two of them are partnering in a new drama, which is undoubtedly full of expectations. I believe that they will bring a wonderful work to the audience with their superb acting skills and professional attitude. Thank you for watching the video, please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 